What it do, bedtime crew? Hey, man, I'm back with another genius video idea, okay? And once again, I'm here right before bed because this was a clearly a recipe for success. The last video, a lot of people were telling me it's one of my funniest videos, so I appreciate that. Um, it's funny the, how that worked because I finished the recording and I was like, that's one of the worst videos I've ever recorded. Um, but yeah, it turned out pretty good. So today, you can see in the thumbnail, you can see in the title, what we're going to do today, we're going to be predicting the next three champions in every division. Now, this is not chronological order of like, this guy will beat, this guy will beat, this guy. Some of these, I'm like, if I have to say who's the next three people to win the belt in this division, however that happens, I think these three guys are the guy, okay? I'm not going to do the women's divisions because they change every week, basically, like, you know, Pena, Pennington, all this shit, like, they'll just beat each other forever, so it's not really like, uh, oh, ooh, I think this guy's really good, he's going to win the belt, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, they're all, they're 50-50, dude, they're literally 50-50, so starting off, we're going to go to the flyweight division. Now, there's a lot of contenders to think about. I obviously number one I'm gonna put in this list Alejandro Pantoja. I think he's gonna beat Brandon Moreno. Okay, I'm gonna put Pantoja in as the next champ of this division. Then after him, Jesus, Albazi's ranked number three. Fuck off. Um, Albazi's not gonna win the belt. I do think the next champ after Pantoja might be Brandon Moreno winning it back in like a trilogy. But if not Brandon Moreno, or regardless of who it is, I think the second champ in the division will be Royval. And then the last one, this is interesting, dude, because then you go down and you get a couple of names that really stick out, you know? I like Urseg, he's pretty good. He's not me, by the way. A lot of people were being like, yo, bro, congrats on your UFC win. I don't fucking look like that, okay? I promise you I'm not 125 pounds. I wish I was, but I'm not, dude. All right. I think the next champ of this division is going to be either Manel Kapp or Muhammad Makayev. I can't decide yet. But those are the next three champs at flyweight. I'm going to go Pantoja, Royval, and then Ke uh, Manel Cup or Mohamed Makayev. One of those two will be the next champ in my opinion, okay? Moving on to the bantamweight division. Now, this is interesting as well because Aljamain Sterling has come out. And he's also said that he's going to... No, okay, he's not, he didn't come out. He's not getting... All right, dude, relax. It's fine if he did. It's pride mode. All right. Aljamain Sterling has come out and said... That after this fight with Sean O'Malley, he's done at bantamweight, he's moving on. So we will get a definitive next bantamweight champion very, very soon. However, I'm going to shock the system, dude. I think Sean O'Malley is going to beat Aljamain Sterling. No, I'm just tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping, dude. But but you know what? I'm going to say Sean O'Malley is going to be a bantamweight champion. Either he's going to beat Aljo by controversial robbery decision. Clip this. He's either going to beat Aljo by robbery decision and become the champ. And Aljo is going to move up to featherweight. Or Aljo is going to win. Then he's going to leave the division. And for the the vacant belt, we're going to get Sean O'Malley versus either Henry Cejudo or Marlon Vera. I don't think Marab will get the first immediate title fight. But I think O'Malley will be champ. Marab will be champ, though. He will beat O'Malley if they fight. And then the next champ after that. So Sean and Marab are both going to become bantamweight champions. This is my prediction, brother. Then the next champ is going to be Uman Namagomedov. I think Uman Namagomedov is going to get the belt after those two. So it's going to be O'Malley, Marab, and Uman Namagomedov. Okay. Moving on to the featherweight division. All right. This is where all the fucking marbles are, dude. I feel like the more I say this, the less likely it is to happen. But I feel like I have to ride with this prediction now because I've had it since I started this channel. Fuck it, dude. Yair Rodriguez is going to beat Alexander Volkanovsky. He's going to shock the world. Then I think Volkanovsky is going to win the belt back off him in a rematch definitively. Okay. Then I think Volkanovsky will defend the belt against Aporia and he will leave the division. He will go up to, to lightweight. Maybe he'll defend against Aljo as well. I think, I think Volk will lose the belt to Yair. He'll put all of his focus back on featherweight. He'll win that belt back, right? Then he'll defend against uh, Aljo, maybe against Taporia as well in the same year. Then he's moving up. He's going to lightweight. He's fucking gone. All right. And then the next champion after that will be Arnold Almighty. Al oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I could be champ. Oh, you know, oh, yeah, I could be champ. You know, that's right. Yeah, I could be a champion, I guess. So, you know, it is what it is. You know? Arnold Allen, be very humble about it, but he'll be the next champ. So it'll be Yair Rodriguez, Arnold Allen, and then the third champ after those two is going to be Movsa Evloev. I know nobody wants to hear it. I know Guru just threw something across the fucking room. Dude, 
But it's the truth, dude. Mopsa Evlov is probably going to be featherweight champion at some point. So the next three champions. And notice I didn't put Ilya to I don't think he's going to be champion. I don't think he's going to be champion, bro. I think he loses to Max Holloway and Alexander Volkanovsky. And he might lose to Arnold Allen. So I just don't think he's going to get the belt. Somehow, some way, I don't see him getting the belt. All right. But those are my picks. Rodriguez, Arnold Allen, and Mopsa Evlov is the next three featherweight champions. Okay. Moving on to the lightweight division. We got Islam Markashev as the current champ. Now, this is a ballsy pick, dude, because I think in the next couple of years... Sorry, it's it's slightly skewered. Let me just fix this. Best editor on YouTube, and we'll put uh, this here, and we'll move this over here. Okay, thank you. There's Jamal Hill. How we doing, sir? How we doing, DJ Cat? God, did Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Tell him to bring out the whole light heavyweight division. All right, back to, back on topic. Sorry, I'm getting a bit distra- I'm a bit tired. All right, lightweight division. Here's what I said, right? I think there's going to be a lot of changing weight classes happening in the UFC in the next couple of years. I think Volkanovski is going to move up to lightweight very soon. After he, did, I feel like I'm speaking like Trump. Anyways, he's going to move up very soon. Okay, he's going to deal with Rodriguez. He's going to deal with Taporia. He's going to deal with Aljo, and then I think he's going to move up. That's what I think is going to happen. And once he does, I have this weird feeling as well. That alongside that happening, Islam Makhachev is either going to move up to welterweight and try and fight Leon Edwards, or Islam Makhachev is just going to retire. I feel like Islam's going to retire very, very soon. So I feel that the next champion of this division, when Islam Makhachev has either moved up or he's left the UFC, Charles do Bronx de Oliveira. Illuminado, Charles do Bronx, he's going to be a champion. Okay, Charles Oliveira is going to be the next champ. I don't know why I have this feeling that Oliveira is going to get the belt back. But I think he will. I think Charles Oliveira somehow, some way, will get the belt back next. That's number one. Okay. Number two. I don't think it's going to be Poirier. I sadly don't think it's going to be Dariush. I don't think it's going to be Conor McGregor. I know he's mad as fuck right now. Um, but, you know, he's talking about 40 now, 185. 185, I'll be champion. So, I've got McGregor in the middleweight section. Shut the fuck up. Um, it's not going to be those guys. It's going to be Armin Sarukian, dude. Okay. Number one's going to be Oliveira. Then Sarukian is going to win the belt next. Okay. Armin Sarukian is going to be a very good champion at lightweight. Okay. I love him. Great fighter. Huge. Huge fighter. Great champion. Okay. He's going to be champion for a long time. Okay. And then he's going to get upset KO'd by Jalen Turner. And Jalen Turner is going to be lightweight champion. So those are my three picks for lightweight. Oliveira is the next champ. Then Sarukian is going to win the belt. And then Jalen Turner is going to shock the world. He's going to knock out Armin Sarukian. He's going to be champ. That's my predictions for the next three lightweight champions, all right? Now we get to welterweight, dude. Now, this is one of my favorite divisions. You guys know this. I love a lot of fighters in welterweight. You know, Kevin Lee, Bilal Muhammad, you know? Who else? Jack Della Maddalena, he's fucking good, all right? As for Leon Edwards, do I see him having a lengthy title reign? Yeah, uh, no. I don't, I don't see him having a lengthy title reign. Now, I don't see him losing to Colby Covington. So, I don't think Colby Covington will be the next champ. But I do think that the next welterweight champion, all right, is going to be Bilal Muhammad. Now, don't click off the video. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do this, dude. All right? Come back here. Get back here, dude. Get back here right now. Sit down. All right? Take your fucking mouse away from the little red X. Bilal Muhammad's the next welterweight champ. He's going to beat Leon Edwards. Okay, it's done, it's sealed, it's sworn, delivered, that's it, it's over, he's the next champ, alright? Then Bilal Muhammad will promptly get knocked the fuck out by Shavkat Rachmanov, and Rachmanov will, be the, will, come, will become the welterweight champion. Okay, so Bilal Muhammad's the next champ, then Shavkat Rachmanov's gonna win the belt, and then our savior is gonna come in, he's gonna save this fucking division, okay? Nobody's gonna be able to stop Shavkat, but there's one man who can, alright? Jack... Della Mata Lena, dude. He's coming in. He's going to fucking chin Shavkat, dude. So the next three champions, Bilal Muhammad, Shavkat Rachmanov, and Jack Della Mata Lena. Those are the next three champions, all right? Maybe maybe a bold pick, maybe a crazy prediction, but that's what I think is going to happen, all right? Moving on to the middleweight division. I think uh, Derek Brinson is going to come out of retirement. And uh, No, just kidding. All right. Uh, so Conor McGregor is not actually on my list here, believe it or not. I know you may be shocked at that. Okay, you can leave a dislike if you want. I know he's the best middleweight of all time, according to him. Um, I think the next middleweight champ is going to be Hamzat Chumayev. I think it's going to be Hamzat Chumayev, dude. I don't think the Duplessis Whitaker winner is going to win the belt. And 
I think Hamza Chimaev is going to be the next middleweight champion. I think he's going to fight Jared Cannonier. I think he will beat Jared Cannonier, and then he'll get a title shot. Maybe in Abu Dhabi, maybe in December, maybe at MSG. I don't know, but I think Hamza Chimaev will fight for the belt before the year is over. Somehow, some way, he'll come back and inexplicably just become really active again. That's my prediction with Chimaev. So I think Chimaev wins the belt. That's number one. Then number two, I think we all get what we want. All right. I think it's going to happen, dude. I think Robert Whitaker is going to beat Hamza Chimaev and win the belt. I think it's going to be the fucking rotating door that it's always been, dude. At middleweight. All right. Where Izzy can lose to one guy, but Robert Whitaker can clearly beat that guy. And Izzy can always beat Whitaker. You know what I mean? It's going to be like that, dude. I think Chimaev. Oh, what the fuck is just opening on my fucking screen, dude? Fuck this, man. But yeah, I think Robert Whitaker is going to do it. I think he's going to beat uh, Hamza Chimaev for the belt. And then I think Robert Whitaker, his reign will come to a sudden and disappointing end to Jared Cannonier. Okay, all right. Maybe you disagree, but this is what I think. I think Jared Cannonier will win the belt. It's going to be Chimaev. It's going to be Whitaker. And it's going to be Cannonier. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm from the fucking, I'm from that fucking, that place in the fucking world, dude. I'm taking that shit, it'll make your fucking head grow, dude. Listen, I got good fucking predictions, all right? Light heavyweight division, all right? Jamal Hill, his next fight's gonna be against Yuri Prohaska. Here's a free prediction. Take this to DraftKings or some shit, I don't know. Take this to fucking DraftKings, dude. Jamal Hill will knock out Yuri Prohaska inside four rounds. Inside four rounds, he'll knock him out. Guaranteed, bro. He goes down in fucking four, mate. I think Jamal Hill is going to beat Yuri Prohaska, but I do think he's going to lose the belt to Jan Blahovic. So the first champ in line will be Jan Blahovic. Then I think Magomed Ankalaev will fight for the belt. He'll beat Jan Blahovic. So it'll be Blahovic. It'll be Ankalaev. And then I think Ankalaev will lose the belt to Alexander Rakic. Now I know what you're thinking. That's three, that's three champions in a row, bro. That's three title losses in a row, bro. Yes. This is light heavyweight, dude. That's what this division fucking does now, dude. It's a revolving door where nothing makes sense. You know, on paper, one thing is true. I thought Anthony Smith was going to destroy John Jones, but I, you know, on paper, that's what was going to happen, right? But then, you know, weird things happen and John Jones won. So this division is very unpredictable. So I think the next three champs will be Blahovich. He'll lose the belt to Ankalaev, and Ankalaev will lose the belt to Rakic. And then Rakic will get flying knee KO'd by Johnny Walker or some shit. I don't know. And Anthony Smith will win the belt. I don't fucking know. All right. Last one. Heavyweight division. Now, heavyweight division. This is a very, very tricky one because John Jones is talking about retiring soon. And I don't think many of us were really prepared for that. I think a lot of us were expecting, all right, Jones is back. He's back. You know, he's here, he's here to stay, right? Um... I think John Jones is going to retire as the heavyweight champion. Okay, I think he's going to fight Stipe Miocic, unfortunately. He's going to beat him, and he's going to retire. That's going to be it. Okay. Then I think the UFC will do a vacant belt between Cyril Gunn and fucking Sergei Pavlovich. The UFC always fucking does the, any va Oh, vacant belt, Cyril Gunn. Oh, women's flyweight injury. Cyril Gunn, take the title. Oh. Oh, uh, Makachev pulled out of the Oliver fight. Get Gan in there, bro. Gan can fight for the belt. The UFC fucking loves this dude. All right? So you know Cyril Gan's getting a fucking title shot. You know they're going to do it. When he knocks out Sergei Spivak, who has no striking and got absolutely destroyed by Tom Aspinall on the feet. But it is what it is. Cyril Gan wins that fight. Then he fights for the vacant belt against Sergei Pavlovich. And Sergei Pavlovich will become the heavyweight champion. So number one on my list is Sergei Pavlovich. Then Sergei Pavlovich will lose to Curtis Blade. I'm just kidding. Okay. Sergei Pavlovich is going to lose to Tom Aspinall. That's the real truth. It's going to be Pavlovich wins the vacant belt. Aspinall wins the belt off Pavlovich. And then I think Aspinall will might beat Pavlovich again. Or maybe he'll defend it against Garn or some shit. Or Blades. I don't know. And then Aspinall will lose the belt to Jelton Almeida. Almeida will become heavyweight champion. So these are my predictions for the next three champions in every division. Give me your predictions down below, boys. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to hear it in the comments, man. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram because I just got um, three new attachments sent to me in a group chat from Tracy Cortez and Mackenzie Dern. I'm going to post them on my story, all right, boys? I'll see you in the next video.
Goodbye.